Hey Alex, how are you? Hi Derek. <laughs> Happy Friday. Hey Donna, no worries. Hey sunshine. <clears throat> Hi Bloop. Hello Dr. Lynn. Give me one second, the screen's gonna go great, but I gotta share it to Telegram, hold on. Never mind, Alex beat me to it. <laughs> Thanks, Alex. <laughs> Hi, Larry. Hopefully everyone gets notifications because this is like way earlier than usual. Hi, Jennifer. <laughs> Hi, Jules. We were waiting just for you. <laughs> I brought my teeth so I don't lose my voice. I shared it with Chad, so hopefully he sees it. Thank you, Jennifer, for the ice cream. Oh, yeah, sorry. Hey, Danielle, how are you? Hey sunshine, it keeps freezing, oh no. <laughs> Thanks, I had to straighten it quickly because it was like all over the place. Yeah, I did censor this live per Chad's request, so it is 18 and up only. Namaste prep, how are you? For those of you who don't know, um, Chad's going to hop on with us. Chad does past life readings. A lot of you are wanting or curious about doing sessions with him. So he's going to do a past life reading for me for everyone to watch. Um, so there could be some triggering content. So if at any point you don't feel comfortable being here and listening, please feel free to swipe out at any time. If the TikTok gods are on my side, I will be able to download it and upload it to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. There's Chad. I did one with him about a week. Hey. How are you? How are you? Good, I'm good. <laughs> I want to put a different one on for me quick. <laughs> Try a new one. Oh, I like that one. Yeah, that matches nice. mine. <laughs> you know, we got to color coordinate a little bit. What oh, does yeah, it there you go. to the air, though? It looks. <laughs> oh, well, what are you going to do? Yeah. <laughs> Turn my fan a little bit. She's gonna get toasty. I'm already dipping into energy is warm. There, right, that's better. I'm gonna apologize in advance. My dog has barked at everything today. So I tried to put the TV on downstairs so it drowns out some outside noise, but she might bark occasionally. Just please ignore it. <laughs> hey everyone. Jelly Bean, Dr. Lynn. Dr. Lynn and uh, she's gonna all the people that saw me doing before if people have questions because i've been trying to work on doing this you know normally my eyes are closed three quarter a little bit i can do with my eyes open now but i'm still working on it so if, if people are asking questions obviously i'm not going to be able to see what they're asking so then they'll uh since they know how it all works they can um, answer stuff for them and who was it you said was going to answer? Uh, Dr. Lynn. 
Right. Dr. Lynn, I'm going to make you a moderator for today so you can help. There we go. I had to reshuffle once um, because I'm like, okay, give me a, like ahead of time, they'll give me like a quick outline. I'm like, yeah, probably a different <laughs> one. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna, this is hard enough to try to explain it and be, that's why I like the privates because then I can say whatever. Yeah, you're not as filtered. Yeah, on here, there's certain, hey, there you are, Amanda. And Amanda is going to um, answer questions also if people are asking. Amanda, I'm going to make you mod too for tonight so you can answer. There you go. But, um, yeah, so got to be, I have to try to think ahead of the, what I say. So, it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or else they the trigger words. But it just, when we get started, then just, yeah, we'll just warn everyone one more time. I mean, I'll be as gentle as every, as I can, but this yeah. is about healing and we all have, I mean, if people don't know, I mean, thousands and thousands of past lives. It's, I mean, it goes on for a long, <laughs> you know, tens of thousands of years or more. And, uh, I would easily say people probably have 3000 plus past lives, if not more. And so they have to be open to the programming. I mean, a lot of your people, I don't know how, if they're on a spiritual path or they just used to, like, I don't know what you guys usually talk about a lot. Most, I would say most are. And I mean, I've been talking about this live for the past week. So most people who are here are aware of what we're going to be going over to. I figured you were going to do that. That's good. And I did make it 18 and up, so it will be censored <laughs> for that. It's better. Just in case. Just be safe, yeah. <laughs> it's all it would take. That would be our luck all of a sudden. There we, well, you got to take a week off, I guess. <laughs> yeah, trying yeah. this. This stuff is amazing. I didn't know if I was going to like it. That um, coconut water. Oh, damn. No, it's coconut water. So good. It's so good. Right, thank you. Price, it's expensive, huh? Five bucks for that little thing. Oh, yeah. And I'll We're smile. doing a past life reading, Shelly. We just hopped on, so we're going to start soon. So for those of you who don't know, Chad does past life readings. He does them on his lives, and he also does um, private sessions. So he did one for me like a week, week and a half ago, and his past life readings are super detailed. I mean, I think at mine went for almost 40 or 50 minutes and I had to hop off at that point. So probably would have went longer. So a lot of you were interested in doing sessions with him in the future, but you didn't really know what to expect. So we are going live together to do one for me so that you guys can see how his sessions go. So if you want to book, you can. Great. Do you want me to try to just do it like I normally would? Or do you want me to try to hurry? No, do whatever, whatever you feel. I'm in no rush. <laughs> Yeah, Give them the full experience. <laughs> people in here that's had them from me before, so. Yeah. That's good. And Amanda and Dr. Lynn are in here. I made them mods for the night. They're going to help answer questions as he's going, because once he starts, I'm not really going to talk. I'm going to let him kind of go through everything and try to pay attention to what he's saying for my session. Right. Yeah, and then uh, it's all healing. Um, I already know that this one that you have a uh, soul fragment in this one. They show me it ahead of time and a uh, cord as well. So you get a double healing out of it. Awesome. So, and then you guys can see how we do that. So we'll walk through it. And I'm very verbal in how I walk and, you know, explain everything. So then you're, it's like you're sitting right in front of me. So, well, you know, <laughs> but, uh, I'm just kind of talking so they yeah. understand. Yeah. And this is a reminder to you guys that things in past lives that come up can be triggering for some people. So if at any point it is not sitting right with you, what you're hearing, please do not hesitate to swipe out and leave. Um, the one he did for me a week and a half ago, I was not a nice person in this past life. So it definitely upset some people where they had to leave because they didn't want to hear it. Just do what sits right with you. Yeah, some people are fragile and think it's all... Uh... 
rainbows and unicorns, but we're doing past lives to heal past traumas from a zillion years ago. And let me tell you, there's a lot of them. And the only reason they're showing you these is because you have healing that needs to be done from them. Why are they going to show you a past life and... Hey, by the way, you were um, a hairdresser, and yeah, yeah, and all you guys did was talk all day, and uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was it. Thank you. Have a good day. Yeah. <laughs> so now it's more the healing is why. So. Absolutely. Yeah. So whenever you're ready. I'm ready I'm whenever ready. you are. <laughs> what if you get super sad? I mean, feel free to do whatever you got to do. You might have to. I'll be good. All right, perfect. They've, they've seen everything for me at this point. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. So I'm going to try to open my eyes sometimes, but I'm slowly getting into your energy. So let's do it. And you can ask, make sure if you have questions on why I'm going through it too, just spurt it out then. Okay. Hey, look over there, <laughs> you know, or whatever. <laughs> um, so I know this is around 950 AD in that area um, in Denmark, the country. Okay. I say that because uh, I'm not far from a Denmark that's a town. <laughs> I don't know why I just said that. But um, all right. And if you guys, if I'm not talking and stuff, that means because I'm looking around and then they show me stuff that's pertinent to her, what she needs to know, little details that lead to this, that lead to this. Just so you know. All right. So yeah, around 9.50. Is that loud enough if, if I'm talking or do I need to speak up louder? I can hear you okay, but I always, I would check and see what they say. Yeah. Amanda, how's the volume at when I'm talking? Do I need to speak louder? Is this good? Okay, everyone? All right, good. All right. So this is about 950 AD is what I told her in the country of Denmark. So that means that this is going to be the mainly uh the days of the vikings which is sensational I've, this is one of my favorites i'm super drawn to this i must have been there many a times that have a different type of a connection with there for whatever reason all right so we're coming in and you have a small farm And I rock. That's just part of my thing. If you're wondering <laughs> why I'm like, rrr, rrr. I don't know if it annoys people or not, but it's comfort. So when I come in, it's almost as if I like I'm zooming in, like I'm flying in there. And all of a sudden, whoop, there I am. So yeah, you're on a farm. You have a husband. Husband and one child. That should be about five, six years old. Oh, okay. You guys are pig farmers. I mean, then my eyes burn a little bit because of the smoke from the fires that they have going on. Tight, tight knit little family. So you have a little, little baby bump. So you're actually uh, probably about three months pregnant as well. So your husband, 
is uh, talking to you about old rate, like the ratings that's going on from some of the wild Vikings. Uh, telling you, hey, did you hear? Ba 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 got raided, and they massacred all the people and from this uh, small village and. So they're sent, they have actually raiding parties. So it seems like there's, they send out small raiding parties to do, like you have a farm here, a farm here, a farm here, you know, little stuff like that. So then they'll just spread out 10, 12 Vikings and then just, and it's for nothing. It's just for stealing your supplies, stealing, um, yeah, your food. She's like, just keep an eye out, keep an eye out. Want to practice later? Of course, of course I want to. So even though he's a, it's like he was a warrior once or something because he wants to ch keep you in training. So you're not a super frail girl. You're not like the girly girl, like, oh, I don't want to get dirty. This is, yeah, you guys are practicing the sword fighting and you throw knives at the hail bay type of stuff, like hail or at hay and at wood and you name it, you throw knives at it. So you're actually really well trained yourself, which is cool. Oh, okay, so your father, he was a Viking. But when you wanted to get hitched with this farmer, it was like cutting ties. So away you go, go do your farming, but you're, not, you're, you're basically semi-cut off from the family lifestyle of, you know, your parents and siblings, if you had any, because it was that important to you to, I don't want that lifestyle. I want to just as a husband, do the farm thing, not have all the stress of all the other fighting. And <laughs> is my husband going to come back from this and this, but so you wanted just your chill lifestyle. So yeah, you guys practice doing all your stuff. Just do the family thing, feed your pigs, doing the supper, tucking in the kid. That's it for that day. And then I kind of fast forward a little bit, like get to the next part. So a couple days later, you guys are out doing your farming thing. <clears throat> and you can see smoke now, like maybe a couple miles away from where you are. You're like, oh, and he's like, yeah, it's kind of getting close. So he wants to go put a few traps around just in case, because he's, the husband's getting worried since they're like, now that they're that close, we better do some extra training, he says to you, just in case, we gotta be in. Being aware. So he has a hiding spot for you and the boy just in case. And you're like, I'm gonna hide in, I'm gonna fight. We fight, this is ours. We worked hard for this. We I gave up everything for it for my family. You're taking after your family because they must have been farmers on his side. Double time of training. It's 
funny because I hear just the ding, 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 you know, when that sword shit like that. So next, go another couple days. Right, things are heating up a little bit. A lot of stress in your house now with your husband and the child. Well, you're more worried because of the kid. You guys aren't overly worried about yourselves as much. Like you want to protect your child and soon-to-be child. So he doesn't want you. What if it comes down to it? Protect baby. Don't get out there and fight, fight, fight. Because we don't want to, you know, you have the chance to lose the baby. Any questions so far for you? No. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll I'm, I'm right. like zoned out and trying to like follow everything. <laughs> I'm kind of solely going that way. <laughs> so your name is Inga. Inga, I told because he's like Inga. I told you, get into that spec and get into that spot. If something happens, he just you could just feel it in the air. It's it's coming. I can feel it in your your stomach, in your solar plexus. You can just feel the tension slash nervousness in its own way because it's, if it was just you fighting for yourself it's different than having to protect a helpless child all right it's in the middle of the night going normal Okay, they must smell your fire or something because it's here they come. Just wild. They're like beasts almost, these people. This, this is, I mean, all Vikings are not bad. I'll just tell you that. These, yeah, these are dark Vikings. That's how you knew they're that I knew they're coming and just hear the squeals of the pigs like that. She's already half dressed. She's, he had a feeling it was coming. Okay, it's time. Get to the spot, get to the spots. Come with us. I don't know if this is what you're saying. No, let's all go. No, I will protect our land the best I can. So you and the boy go to the hiding spots. He runs out there. There's the ding, ding, ding. You hear, you hear your husband scream like, ah, well, he took an arrow to the leg. So they hit him from the woods. You tell, just, just stay here, just stay here. I'm going to go help your father. So you go out there creeping around the back. 
you're trying you like i said you're 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 semi-trained the way you are you're not frail but so you go out there he's going at it with them he's doing pretty good he has that one arrow on the leg left leg but it's not really slowing him down he's hobbling a little bit but he's good for for a farmer i'm tell you what he he's trained So you're sneaking around and you start to fight one of the people and he, your husband sees you then fighting and he's, now he's super stressed and extra protective even more than before because holy shit, you're, you were supposed to be, whatever, just fight. Okay. So he's kind of giving in like, let's, let's get, let's protect our, protect our stuff. And uh, the Vikings are, they're kind of like, mm, like they're half drunk, I probably, it's, that's how they see him. Bunk, so he takes his sword to you and bunks you on the head and oh, on the ground you fall. Two of the other ones pick you up drag you to the house. He took down three so far that were all the way. Someone comes up behind him, bonks him on the head as well. Knocks him all cold. So they take both of you, drag you back. Yep, drag you both into the house. Um, the boy, he's only five or six, so he's super curious, you know, and they hear him like, oh, like that. And well, they find the hiding spot, so they drag the boy out. The boy. You tell him. the boy gets free and runs out the door. They run after him. You run out after them. They just basically knock the boy down. Bunk you in the head again. Drag the boy back to the house. This time they're dragging you to the barn area. Yeah, they're gonna do bad things. I don't know how I can say this without. You already know, cause you're coming too, and you have uh, um, like one of those short daggers. So someone is going to try to do bad things to you, if you know what I mean, without me saying it. Attempted. You grit your knife and slice, slice him across from here. Okay, so you stopped him from that. And he start to rough you up. So they're basically beating you up really, 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 really good because you gashed that guy's face open. Oh, I'm gonna teach you a lesson. He takes the same dagger that you cut your face with or cut his face with. You are right, yeah? Yeah, I'm okay. All right. I don't know. I, I'm trying to, you know what I mean by the, yeah. Yeah, no, I, I know, yeah. Okay, without um, saying 
it'll, uh, I don't know, it makes me nervous. Anyway, all right, here, I'm just checking on you. So he wants to teach you a lesson. So he takes that same dagger and you're never gonna forget me, he says. And he carves his name on your forearm on the bottom, like right up here, okay? And puts his name on there. K-N-U-T, so it's, is that Newt, Knut? Well, that's his name, K-N-U-T. Grab her, so they tie you, tie up your arms. Now we're gonna really make you pay and watch. They lock your husband and son in the house alive and make you watch while they burn it down with them in it. Sorry, everybody, but this is how it's happening. Um, It would have been better if they would have just unalived them because you're listening to the screams of both of them, which the screams stop at this time already. You already have a soul fragment that came out because of that. So then, all right, finish her, finish her. Let's go. So that guy that you cut like that and then carved his name on you, gives you just a quick, like a jab like that in the side with that same, same damn dagger whom you drop. They left you for D-E-A-D. And they take off. You're unconscious. Seems like damn near day. A day goes by, which I'm like, it can't be over right here already. No, you didn't. They must have not, when they hit you, or when he hit you with that dagger here, he must not have hit or pierced anything pertinent. It was more fleshy because you're still alive. You didn't bleed out. I shouldn't have said that word, but you didn't lose all your Kool-Aid. Um, so lady, sh there's a whole bunch of women around you now. And they're shaking you and shaking you and shaking you. She's alive, she's alive. So they make a makeshift thing that they can carry you to and go. And take you back to their place. So I'm watching you guys all travel. There's about eight of them, eight women, I would say. Yes, eight. And you're getting to this small little community. It's all women. Oh. They're shield maidens. I don't know if you know what they are. Shield maidens are like the women Vikings, but they're their own division of warriors. And they are bad. Yes, well, it's 18 plus. They're badasses.
So they're mending you and working on you and letting them, their healers do their thing to you. I need you. Fever. Seems like it took you about a week to two weeks to go through the fever, slowly get stronger and stronger back on your feet. Did you know, you knew what shield maidens were before? Yeah. Someone actually said it in the comments when you started talking about everything. <laughs> Who did? Oh, someone did. Um, it was at the very beginning when you started talking about Vikings. Someone had said that too. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's they're pretty sweet. All right. So the main one that found you, him Ova. Your shield maidens. What happened? What happened? And then you're like, okay, no. We found you. We thought you were dead. You weren't. We um, brought you back here. And then, you know, put you back together. You went to your stomach and you knew that was gone, so. You lost, obviously lost baby, eh? but that part was because of the knife thing, but mostly was because of how they roughed you up. Yeah, you, this is a whole, now you're like reliving it all over again because now you just realize you lost this baby besides your husband and son as well. Yeah, you're just like in feet of position. Real little uh, fragment from that. So you actually have two in here. Um, they're small, like golf ball size. It's pretty tiny, but it's still extra healing because you lost all those loved ones. Couple more days. So the one, the main one that found you, she's, cause you're, you know, and now this, let's get into the history of it. Like, who are you people? Why did you save me? I could have been with my family, blah, blah, blah. And it's not your time. It's not your time yet. I will help you get revenge. What can you hear? Just a bunch of women. No, we are shield maidens. Do you know us? Well, I've heard stories while we are real. And if you give us the opportunity to train you, you can join us and we will help you get vengeance on your family. And she goes like, like this and sees the name on your arm and she knows that name too. So it seems like this group is a group of women that are have been wronged and lost everything, which makes them, you have nothing to lose. It makes you even stronger. So it takes you a little bit, you're hee-hawing around, but she's really good at um, firing you up. So let's get revenge for your family. We will help you, we will help you. And they're just going down the list or down the list of all the women that are there. Yeah, she lost her parents and her siblings and she lost this and this and everyone's going through explaining everything that they lost. So it makes you feel a little better per se, but not, oh, that's great. Misery loves company in a, in a certain amount of a way, but it's together you're strong 
you know, just bottom line. It's a hell of a fuel. So with the good arm, you do the shake like, like they do like that. I gotta see if I'm, <laughs> I might have been doing it over here and you wanted to see, okay, you know that. I can see. <laughs> yeah. so, um, let the training begin. All right, so now looks like you're gonna have daily training. Don't overdo it, just get started. Just gotta build your strength up again from one being sick and damn near passing. So they have a really cool setup with dummies around and couple weeks you're just doing that then it's starting to shift over to live combat with other ones with wood swords <laughs> and you're better the better than they thought you would be they didn't know that your origin where you came from that you already were semi trained but if you're not training you're, this is a whole different type of training. Before you're doing it just more for protection. Now you're doing it more as. I don't know if I can say the word or not. Uh, I don't know if it assassin type like that. Going into battle. This is just running, <laughs> guns blazing. Rah, you know, this is more. Let's creep in sneakily. Strategic. Yeah, so you can easily get away, you know what I mean? Like, you're just trying to, without starting an all-out war, because, yes, they're strong, but they're going in groups of 8 to 12 people. So, yeah, last warrior, Dr. Lin. Um, yeah, let's see. So you're about, I bet you all two and a half months. I don't know why the third... So, my God, yeah, about two and a half months from training one to, okay, let's go, we'll give it a try. So every single one of them have uh, a target, per se. So you have yours, you carry it with you on your forearm, you know, and that's your main thing. I'm not going to take my last breath until I pay back. So, so there. That's a cool thing because they have scouts of their own. Okay, tonight we're gonna go and try to find a blah, blah, blah for this lady's to get hers. So you all go together, sneak in. This lady, they find the person that wronged them and stole them of basically their innocence, um, and yeah. And you just slowly checking them off. You lose a few here and there of the warriors, but they know what they signed up for. Yeah, your yours is a big one that Knut. He has he's very uh a lot of people have heard about him and his treachery. It's pretty cool. You guys can, like you're sneaking around, like you rub mud all over you. And then you also have um, this blue. So it seems like the amount of people that the person lost. So you, when you have your stuff on, you have covered in mud so you can sneak around like that and then you have three blue things on you one for baby one for their your other child and one for the husband and they there's like those three lines that go across your face it's pretty badass looking i'm like 
I'm just observing. Hands up. <laughs> I'm trying this to with my eyes open for a little bit. Here. Interesting. The um, the Alva, the main one, like the one that found you. Yeah. Jesus, she has like seven around uh, up from her. Like she lost everyone. Their father, brother, sisters, you name it, they're in there. Yeah, if you look into all these women's eyes, I mean, they're just like the, like they're super, like ninja focus, like that. It's pretty amazing. It's beautiful, like the, the bond, like, like they're true, like an army where you can be like, you know, like all that with your signs and stuff at your, you know, no guys know how to make like certain calls, like, you know, like a bird that means this and this means this. And you feel like you're part of something. It's, it helps a little bit, but you're just driven by the constant reminder. You look at your arm a lot, you know. Yeah. yeah. So all of us, yeah, you find she finds her person. And you, so you find the main guy, the, the main guy that from her, you sneak in there without even thinking you get rid of his wife, right? And you're just about like this and that all <laughs> was like, no. Oh. Cause you're right now, you're just like, let's do this and get out of here. Yes, it's done, he's gone, blah, blah, blah. We ended that gene pool on that guy. And uh, no. So she wants to take that one back. He needs to be not quick. Let's say that. Let's drag him back and slowly remove parts because he needs to feel the years and years and years of pain like I felt. That's what she's saying to you. Don't, you know, in, in a non psychotic sort of speech, you can kind of get it. You know, that you kind of feel, yeah. oh, I get it. Why should he have the quick boom done? And I've been dragging on this horrible pain. I mean, back then it wasn't just love and light. Then it, now it's no payback eye for an eye. And literally. So you guys get him back there. And yeah, she had, she had this planned out for since day one of starting this. It kind of turns you off about it a little bit. You I mean you get it, but you kind of um, have just a little bit of humanity in you enough to, yes, I am driven by this, but you're kind of going a little too far is how you feel. Like you just feel it in your guts, you know, with the. So you won't even stay in there and watch. Just, you're just like, have fun. Have fun. I'm gonna go have an ale over here. <laughs> Just let's I'll go have a few drinks. <laughs> yes. She's in there forever. Next morning, still going at it. But she is having her her time, that's for sure with that. At the hydrate one. Yeah, so she ends up finishing the finishing him off. Then, what was a day and a half? 
So at least it, she took her time and I don't think she wanted him to go per se that I think his body just gave up and lost enough Kool-Aid and how much shock it went through and everything else. But yeah, so, okay, let's, you just looking into her eyes. She has, uh, it looks like it might've changed her and you're a little worried about it. Like, come on, snap back. Okay, let's, let's regroup, okay? Kind of gave her more the bloodlust kind of now. So anyway, you let her go. You go out with the other girls, leave her behind. Let's go. I know where this other one is. Let's go find them, blah, blah, blah. So you go and sneak in, help someone else. So while you left her behind, she went and played Scout. And she found your Knut. You'll see. You'll see how it feels. It feels amazing, is what she's telling you. So you kind of change your tune a little bit then? You know, now you're like, oh, yeah, let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. You know, a lot of times you just keep hitting your arm like, let's go. So you guys come up with a plan. You're going to go in the middle of the night, sneak in there. sneak in there. So this guy wasn't married. But he's got two, you know, basically a woman on each side while he's in the middle. Like, oh, I'm somebody special. Because that guy was a, he's, if you look up a hole in the dictionary, I'd show a picture of him there. Let's bring him back. So the other, the, um, the, all the girls, she's getting into your head now. Like, let's bring him back. Let's bring him to the room. And yet now you are remembering all the bad things you're, you know, like the, what you lost in that. And you're like, yes. God, I hope you don't lose yourself too much. You know what you done? Like you have a, basically they have a big wooden um, X thing like that, where you can arm, arm, leg, leg tied up like that. Oh, we don't want you to forget me. So you take the thing and you cut, carve your name Inga on, a, on the chest. Oh, that's not enough. Okay. Do the same name on his forehead. On each leg, on each arm. Oh, okay. So you're carving your name all over. Head, arms, chest, stomach, legs, bottom of the feet. That's got to be horrible on the bottom of the feet, even worse. Yeah, you're just ha you're just having it on. Forgive me, forgive me. You are the epitome of evil, is what you tell me.
We're going to make it so you can never have children. So you're kind of making them believe like he's going to survive through it. You're just going to torture him and just let him go. Because of the almost assault. Yeah. So that was the first part to go. Was the basket. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, people. Um, <laughs> Oh, you'll never look at another woman like the way you looked at me. That one that you cut across like that, but it wasn't mine. But well, that one was gone. So then in this barn. There's like one of those windows, like way, way up top, like without the glass, but it's like the open, just the open window way up there. So this is in the morning hours already and the sun comes through that. And you hear your husband's voice, do not lose yourself. Do not lose yourself. You hear that, them words. And you're, you know, and you're like, because you started to go like um, the Alva, where it started to take over, and then it's more, instead of getting, I don't know if it's different, like, if, it's different to do, I don't know why, it just sounds weird even coming out of my mouth, it's different to, boom, get revenge, but to, enjoy the revenge is different or you lose yourself and then you become full dark you could do it as for you know the eye for the eye compared to the eye for the eye and the other eye and then yeah i'm happy i love it and, and start to like it and then it, it changes you even more Yeah, so you get the vision of the husband and the son in the sun that's coming through that window. And after you heard that, then you kind of click out of it and you're like, like that. And he is three quarters unconscious already, you know. The, you just like this fast. Boom, like that. Boom. Just right straight to the heart of that. Just let's not drag this on. Let's not let it take me to the that dark place where I might not be able to come back from. And, uh, yeah. It's weird. Hey. It was like a sense of relief at the same time. And then you felt good. Like, oh, I didn't cross that line. I was about to, but then if husband and son didn't kind of come through, you would have, you would have lost. If they didn't intervene with, remember who you are, right? Yeah. So then, um, yeah, that's, you kind of just let him lay, go we'll walk out, go down by the water, basically. Just walk into the water and like you're almost in a trance. Obviously with your clothes on because you have red Kool-Aid, you know, all over. Plus mud, plus the 
the the green lines or the um, blue lines up there. Yeah, sense of relief is just like, and it, the weird thing is that you feel good that you didn't lose yourself, but you felt good because now you heard, ah, oh, they're safe. You had that feeling. I will join you, you know, soon enough, I will be with you. It didn't show anything with the small one, but uh, it was just the bigger son and uh, husband. And you just sit in there and soak for hours and hours. People come down by you by the water and you're just like, don't say anything, just let me be for now. And they're like, well, we'll dispose of them. You're like, I'll do it. So you even want to take care of the bad guy. You actually want to bury him. <laughs> I want, didn't expect that. So you still found it in you now to go in the opposite direction and be like a human being. It's, yeah, he still needs to be buried. Does it mean he's going to Valhalla or he's definitely not going there? Yeah, I, yeah. So you come out, change. A couple of them help you drag him to a place. Just you're just like, let me do it but it'll be an unmarked grave. No one can ever come and pay respects to you or nothing. So it's, it's kind of neat, neat way to think of it like that. You just stay there and you'll be lost and wander forever. So I'm fast forwarding a little bit. Yeah, you did it for a couple more months, helping some of the other girls still, but it changed you to a point to come back towards the right direction. Okay, you were tinkering on the edge of going too far. Just basically saw the light, meaning the husband and son. And it's every day then you kind of got stronger okay we'll help these other girls so they can heal too but i can only do so much of this it's time to let go all the way and move on yeah within uh, maybe six months maybe Went back to the original property and still going to the, you sleeping into the barn part as you like to find other people to help you rebuild the house again and start over. Never remarried in that. Started doing the pigs again. but made uh, a lot more preparations just in case um, other ones would come back ever. But that wasn't even your thought process. It's so weird. It was like nothing will ever touch me again. Like it was like a, uh, in your mindset, which it could have been like a freak incident, you know, not like, oh, this is going to happen next week again. You know what I mean? That thought process wasn't even there, which it's, as I'm going through right now, and it never did. You never moved on, so you kind of just 
went on by yourself and found the beauty and now let's start a different day with a garden with wildflowers and bring some color to life where it had no color. Because deep down you had like excitement to when my time is ready and they're ready for me, I'll be joining them. So you had that happy thought process with them. So it's kind of beautiful that way. And you're just happy and content by yourself like that. I mean, you get random straight, you know, um, people that knew you or whatever would come around here and there. Do you need anything? Can we, do you need any help? And you're Miss Independent, so. Maybe, what, 20, 25 years you want just doing that. Go into the town, go into the city, sell the pigs. Back and forth, and that's what you did, and you're content. Talk to them a lot. Kind of like they were there. So it kind of feels like by that connection that was made in that moment opened up one of your clairs because now you can hear back, kind of, you know what I mean? Like, And it just helped with the peace. It's weird. But you have two soul fragments and a cord attached to that. Do you have any questions before I get too far out of that? that what to... arm was the name engraved on? Was it the left I think you were holding up? Yep. So I, I have to show you because you said my husband was shot with an arrow and I have an arrow tattooed on my left arm where you said the name would be. <laughs> Wow. As soon as you said that, I was like, I've always felt the need to cover, like get it tattooed there. So I thought that was pretty interesting. Yeah. And I never wear blue makeup and I wore blue today. And you said the face paint was blue. I never. And that's like and, the uh, exact color too of it. And then when you said that um, we first saw the smoke a few miles away, I got like this really like, sharp pain in my neck and that's when you said like you know they bonked this on the head and i was like i i felt it coming almost in a sense i was like there's got to be some kind of neck or head injury that goes with this because i like as soon as you said the smoke i instantly felt it yeah and you got it twice because then yeah first time to the house the second time to the bar hmm. yeah. yeah um I'm ready. <laughs> uh, very interesting how it was weaving through like that. And then to see, it was cool to see all the women bonded together like that too and helping each other um, for the same cause, the same reasons that they created that. So let's go together and yeah. So, yeah. All right, your two frags. I'll we'll, we'll do those first. Um, so my main my guide, he'll I'll hand them to him. He'll combine them into one. So one's about the size of a, from the husband is the size of a, a hard ball, baseball. The other one is like a golf ball. And then he'll combine them together. And then you bring them in, reincorporate it. Now, I'll talk you through it. Just how I, it's just how I operate. Okay, let's do that, and then I will get that cord then after. Mike, um, Michael is if is his name. If you don't remember from last time. They are toasty. Okay, so Michael is going to combine the two fragments into one. Cleanse and purify them for your highest and greatest good and put them back into divine working order.
Okay. All right. Okay, he's going to come over, so put out your hand. Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, you want to put them both out because after, then they, it's a lot bigger than a softball. Okay, he's coming over, to put, and he'll put it in your hands in three, two, one. Into your hands. Okay. I don't know if you can feel the slightest pressure. Any heat tingles. Okay, now you're going to bring it to your chest. And I'll count you down, and then I'll say, you know, now. And then you just slowly put it back into your chest and hold on to it like that while it integrates. And he's, okay, so and bring it to your chest in three, two, one. Integrate it into your chest. Can you feel, did you feel any heat at all or tingles in that? Yeah, that's really intense. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot to it. There's a lot of uh, emotion attached to it. Hopefully it'll make you feel whole again in that one. Okay. So the cord is on your right side where your right um, chicken wing is. And it's not drastic in size, but it's like a garden hose size on this one. Now, a lot of emotion to that one, you know, loss. But it looks like it's wrapped around from your heart chakra to your solar plexus. It's kind of uh, wrapped around a few things in there. So let's get that. And then when I'm done, Michael comes in and he gives you that super hug. And then he'll go from his heart space to your heart space. Flows in unconditional love. And he'll tell me if I need to do anything else as well. All right, ready for the cord. Okay. This is how he has, they have me do it. Okay, so I put my, put my hands on your back. So it's on your chicken wing on this side, like just above it. Okay, so they have me go back and forth five times to slowly start to break it free. So left, right, left. Right, left, right, left, right. Okay. Now I slowly crack it up and down, left, right, a few times to break the seal. So up, down, left, right, Left, right. All right. We're going to pull it out in three, two, one, pull. Ooh, that baby had some tension to it. My shoulder jerked. <laughs> okay, so now I go in, and if there's any. And that was wrapped around pretty good inside, so you could really feel it. Like, it had some real pull. Um, so then I go in and I get any extra residue that might have been left behind in it. I scoop it out like this with my fingers. And then, Michael, can I have the soul? And then they. If, it's always a different color, but this is a rainbow salt, okay? And this, in case any residue is missed in there, this neutralizes it, so like, make sure it's all gone. So, in there. You pack that in there. It's like 
packing in the wound. It's not drastically big, but it's deep. A little more salt. Okay. Comes the heat. This is to me is like cauterizing almost. And this closes it up. Well, if you, you might feel some heat to it. Okay. And I always do the extra heat after. Don't want any scarring. That's how I just look at it. Like, <laughs> smooth it all out so perfect like that. All right, Michael's gonna come in and just, I don't know if you wanna pretend or do whatever, but he's gonna come in like this and do a, like a hug like that. And then it his chest is about a foot away from yours as you're holding it like this. And he'll go, he'll give you unconditional love from your heart space to his heart space to your heart space. And that lasts about 30 seconds worth of hug, about. So he's going to come in now. And he's coming in in three, two, one. Boom, hug. You might feel like that slight, like you're hugging something that's not there. Okay, he wants, why he's doing that and it's going from hard space to hard space wants me to bring in unconditional love through your crown at the same time. And it kind of like, it'll be like a wash through you. That's how they want, like this. So three, two, one. So your crown might tingle just a little. I mean, I can just see from your normal glow and it just gets brighter and you're just glowing. He's back and away. He's actually gonna go. He's gonna give you extra right through your third eye, like his hand, like this. And so he's, you might, you might, your third eye might start buzzing just a little bit. Said, let her know that she is loved unconditional. Say, your love, Nicole. Keep walking that path that you're on. It's okay to look around like this, but you're still walking the line. It's okay to be curious, but stay true to yourself. I know you know this, dear one. The love just radiates off of you. And he says thank you to you. <laughs> okay. 
and he's backing away now. Yeah. Perfect. How do you that feel? Was, that last one was so intense. <laughs> Yeah, and the best way possible. For those of you who have not had a session, Michael gives the best hugs. <laughs> that is so comforting. <laughs> you just want to sit there forever. <laughs> yeah, he's, you know, they say your guides are a part of yourself. And I was, I'm always such a hugger, too. Then it's, I don't know, it's our thing. And when you come in like that, I'm like, even from here, I can just feel, right? And it's like a tingly you feel ever so slightly like if like if air is like touching you like you know yeah. that hug form like that yeah it's like a like a, a slightly weighted blanket of like comfort <laughs> is how i can think to explain it <laughs> like you feel like just the slightest bit of pressure but it's like such like comforting and peaceful energy <laughs> And then he always, they always know, like, oh, I should might put on that. Yeah, I'm all right, I'm all right. But hey, bring in extra, because, you know, so then that's kind of like I picture it. Shoot it out of my palm and then raining down through the top of the crown. I don't know. You should be fired up because you got a lot of love out of that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely feeling it. And like so much of the stuff you like said resonated. I, I was taking notes because I didn't want to like forget any of like the important parts. <laughs> but like definitely emotional, definitely I definitely felt the healing. I like my shoulder jerked when you removed the cord. I don't know if anyone saw it on the live, but I felt like the tension with that. That was that was like, deep. Oh, right? I'm like, ah, this one won't be too bad because it was like garden hose, but it it was it was in there and it it's because of it being wrapped around in there you know it went across the heart space like that through the solar plexus it is all over so yeah. and what's funny is my people know when i do reiki anytime i lift my arm my shoulder always pops so i'm curious to see if that gets better now that you remove that i wonder if that had something to do with that <laughs> i like that it's uh I'm, I'm glad when it resonates a little bit Oh yeah, this one definitely resonated for sure. And I definitely felt the soul fragments, like my whole chest like warmed up, got the tingling. I got the tingling through the crown. The third eye was super intense when he did that. And y'all got to see what it's like to have a soul fragment and return um, a cord that's attachment and you cut that. And get all that inner healing from both things so yeah it was uh beautiful yeah for those of you who were like on the fence about getting a session i cannot recommend it enough like i don't like even if i would say like even if i didn't get soul fragments or have the cord cutting just having that information was enough for me like getting the soul fragments and the cord removal was just like that like top things that off but just knowing the past like that in of itself like i was taking notes on things that i noticed in this life from that life so it's definitely healing completely across the board okay like because there's a lot of uh firsts in there for me i've did a lot of viking stuff before but never never the um shield maiden part of it so that was pretty that was pretty cool yeah well i don't know it was a lot of first lately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you guys want to book a session, just message him privately. He does them on live too, but he also does private sessions. So this would be the equivalent of what like a private one-on-one -on -one session would be and what you did tonight, correct? I was hour, hour and a half. I mean, and like a lot of times we would not, would just do voice and voice like this. But I mean, if you want the camera on, you can, but you can ask questions as we're going they're like hey well, what is that or you know like oh i'm looking at this and this oh okay is it what is that or you can ask any questions while we're doing that so yep and is it yeah. better for them to message you on here or somewhere else to set up um either or here or follow we'll make sure you follow me and then 
um, if nothing else, go and you can message on Instagram because we could do the session on Instagram then because then we could, that has the phone part attached to it where you can do phone calls. So, or we'll figure it out from there. Just yes. send a message and we'll talk about it. Yeah. So if you guys are not following him, make sure you follow. And I mean, you go on live fairly often where you do sessions too. So if you want to see him do more sessions on TikTok, follow him and, and hop in his lives there too. So you can see as well. Right. Yeah. You guys should definitely, I want to hear everybody's stories now. <laughs> you guys got to come back in, in the lives and let me know how they go and how, what, what you were, who you were. <laughs> Trying to gravitate more to the private part of it that way. It's just you don't have the even though I'm not gonna rush, but it's just I don't have that in the back of your mind where you're like, oh, that someone else won and one and they're there waiting for you know an hour and a half. This we could just set up a time, okay? Whatever. If this takes two hours, it takes two hours, whatever, it doesn't matter. But always is our is and that's going as fast as I can. This one with everything was about an, just under an hour and a half, guys. So, and that was like a full one on one session would be. Yeah. Oh, I love that, Donna. What'd she say? When she did her session with you, she was a musician. Yep. That was the first two, though, on that one. That was pretty cool. Yeah. That was an intense one, too. That was another one where I'm like, well, this is our first. <laughs> and hers was beautiful, Dick. Well, I probably, it's semi private, I suppose I shouldn't say. She never gave up and she found another way. Let's just, we'll go with that. So that was quite the beautiful part about it, right? Yeah. Right, Donna? Yeah. Perfect. Well, thank you so much, Chad. And everyone, if you've been, had any inkling of wanting to learn about a past life he is the one to go to for sure i've had two now and they've both been absolutely amazing experiences and i mean if you guys were on from the beginning you see like how detailed it really is when you do it with him yeah see private i could slow down even more yeah. it was hard trying to go around the wording on here i know <laughs> and you have to be safe because some people are, wouldn't be expecting it. Like, oh my God, that was me. It's a shock, but we've all. I was a little more mentally prepared for this one because of the last one. <laughs> the last one, I was like an emotional mess. I was like, thank God I'm not on camera. I cried through like the whole thing. Tonight, I was like, okay, it could be that bad or worse. So I was like mentally already like <laughs> knowing what what to expect. <laughs> and they and they showed me. Um, true, and I'm like, eh, I don't know about the first one. And that was where, in similar times, it was. You have another Viking one like that, but it's. Uh, I'll book a private session and, and like a couple weeks so we can do it without being censored. <laughs> sure. It's the same as it is on here, man. Uh, Instagram. Just click on my name on here, and then the little Instagram sign is there, and it'll bring you right to it. But yeah, it's interesting. I try to paint you the best picture I can, so. It's definitely appreciated. <laughs> yeah, you're very welcome. <laughs> Hello. But Hi, well, I can get out of your way. And are you going to do a whole live now still? or? I'm going to hop off because I got to go downstairs for a little bit, but I will be back a little bit later tonight and do another live some reiki for everybody <laughs> right, well, we'll go process some time. emotions for a little bit <laughs> thank right. you chad everyone go follow him go message him set your set your sessions up <laughs> right perfect all right thank you love y'all and uh we'll talk to y'all soon thank you bye guys bye.